Let's talk about a theory that I have for Scream 7's opening kill. Let's get into it. A certain rule! Push the laws and you end up dead. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Not in my movie. Surprise, Sydney. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. A very simple formula! Do you want to play psycho killer? Everybody's a suspect! No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. I'll be right back! Okay, I think it's gonna go something like this. I'm Pamela, welcome back to my channel. So we've had some discussions on my channel before about who should be the opening kill for Scream 7. I've shared some of my ideas with you guys. A part of me thinks it's going to be a returning character to kind of mirror Cotton Weary in Scream 3. We know that these new movies are mirroring the originals. So Scream 7 should have a lot of similarities to Scream 3. And Cotton Weary was our first returning character opening kill. So I've said before, maybe it should be Gale, maybe it should be Kirby, maybe it should be Mark Kincaid, but what about this? What if it's a flashback to Maureen Prescott's murder? Hear me out. So first of all, in a way that could kind of mirror Cotton as a returning character, because even though it would be a flashback, we know Maureen Prescott. She is a character that we have seen before, that we know about, as opposed to a brand new character for the opening kill. And if it's a flashback to her murder, we would get to see Billy and Stu when they were younger, which can be done with some de-aging and some filters. They can make it work. Movie magic. And now you guys know that I think Stu Mocker is still alive and is going to return in Scream 7 to go up against Sydney. But I do think that he won't be revealed until the end. Just like usual, you know, the killer isn't revealed until the final act. But imagine if we can see a flashback of Stu in the opening scene to kind of already get us thinking about Stu. If the movie is going to focus on Stu as the killer, how awesome would it be if right from the jump, they already get Stu in our heads. They already have us thinking about Stu. And then it'll be so exciting to watch the whole movie like, oh my god, will they or won't they? Is he going to show up alive at the end? And a flashback is something that has never been done in the Scream franchise before. And it's something that I would love to see. With the seventh movie, we got to do things that are new and have never been done before. So one of them would be bringing back a past killer with Stu, and then a flashback could be something new. And what if we find out something new from that night of Maureen's murder? Like, what if Christina Carpenter was there that night and was an accomplice? Because you guys know, I have all these theories about Christina Carpenter, Sam and Tara's mom. I think there's a lot more to her than we know. I think she's a shady character. I think she very well knew what Billy and Stu were up to back then. And there's a good possibility she could have played a role. So what if she was there that night when Billy and Stu murdered Maureen? What if she helped them murder her? Or what if she was the getaway car? You know, Randy says in the third movie of a trilogy, it's all about going back to the original and finding out something we thought was true but isn't true. So not only could that mean Stu is alive, but we also find out some more new information about the past. Christina was involved. But whether Christina was involved or not, it would still be cool to see a flashback to the night of Maureen's murder. And this could be another way to mirror Scream 3, because in the scene at Jennifer Jolie's house, when they're all sitting around and Tom is ripping out the pages of the script, he says there's a flashback to Maureen's murder. And we know that in Scream 3, they also set it up for Maureen's murder flashback. Sydney walks onto the set. So that would be a nice little callback to that. We actually get to see it. So what do you guys think about that? Leave a comment. Do you like my idea for a Scream 7 opening scene being a flashback to Maureen Prescott's murder, where we get to see a young Billy and Stu? Please give this video a like if you're excited for Scream 7, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on future theories like this one. 
or Scream 7 updates. Any Scream 7 updates that we get will be posted here to this channel. Please also go follow me over on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram where I post more Scream content. Please also go subscribe to my second YouTube channel and please consider becoming a channel member here on my main channel. The link will be down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.